Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Welcome and thank you so much for being here with me today. This is a live event and today is April 4th. I still have to check because it doesn't matter that I've been writing that all day long. I keep forgetting. Um, again, thank you for being here. Let me just move a couple of things here with my screen. I'm hoping things are going to work fine. So I was in panic mode. I don't know, a few minutes before the, actually, I was in panic mode from 5.30 to like probably 5.55 because I couldn't find my take your pick. And I was like, oh, I cannot leave without it. I was, it was such a panic mode. I was looking all over the house. I thought I had taken it upstairs um, because I was finalizing some of the cards uh, yesterday and I, for my Easter cards. And I was like, Oh my God, I can't believe I lost it. I went upstairs, I came downstairs, I looked around, and finally I found it hiding near my printer um, where I have my envelopes and that um, I was probably looking for the envelopes for my cards that I was sending and fell somewhere around there. So funny enough, hey, how are you, Judy? I just want to let you guys know, there's a few people that you'll be sending Easter cards, but, and yes, you can laugh. So I'm like absolutely sure I have this many envelopes, right? And I have like five envelopes. Um, so there's that. <laughs> I had to order some extra envelopes, which is super funny. <laughs> um, couldn't help it. Uh, I had to order envelopes from Amazon because they will deliver like tomorrow right super soon um and stamping up is not going to deliver that quick so and i want to send my easter cards at least before easter right <laughs> so anyways those things are the things that happen to me welcome to my world you're all welcome um and if you uh don't know i'm an independent stamping up demonstrator so if you want you know have any questions about stamping up about our products about getting a catalog um, I will gladly send you a free catalog um, if you just let me know so send me an email to Maria at mariascraftingcoordinate.com and I will really really gladly answer all your questions and send you um, the catalog if if that's what you want um, and on that note we just had a revamping of colors um, so there were 14 colors that just left us. For those of us, of us, we may be a little bit sad. There's a couple of colors that I really, really adored that are gone <laughs> uh, or retiring. And, um, but there are many beautiful colors coming in. So I can, I don't have like a, kind of like a color, how would you call it? Color match something no i don't have a picture of all the colors that are coming but i do have the ones that are leaving so let's go to the crafting table and see how this goes okay there i am let me remove my email so these are the colors that are leaving um mary merlot blushing bright i am very sad about this one mango melody so saffron mean macaroon which i am also sad about uh bermuda bay and pacific point and then we have Rich Russell Berry here, Crumb Cake and Sahara Sand. It's one of those colors that I really love. And then the all the in colors from 2021 to 2023. And we knew those in colors were leaving, right? They always leave. They are here for two years and then they go. And those are soft succulent evening green, pale papaya and polished pink. I do love my pale papaya. It's a really interesting thing, but I never used it, used it. So it's kind of weird, right? How our mind works. Um, but yes, they are leaving. We are having, like I said, a revamping of colors. Uh, the new colors, there's some that are just plain gorgeous. Um, there's some others that I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But all of them are beautiful, right, in their own um, colors. And I am just very, very glad um, to be part of it. I have never, because I'm fairly new, right, at um, stamping up, I have never gone through a revamp. And I was kind of having a heart attack 
about the color, certain colors going. Blush and Bright was one of them. Um, if you've been here before, you guys know that I really love my Blush and Bright. But what can you do, right? It's part of what it is. And we need, of course, to kind of look for new colors and new options. I love polished pink, guys, but I was not a polished pink person to use in cards. Isn't that so funny? Hey, Susie, how are you? I am so glad that you are here. And Mary Merlot and Rich Russell Verby, they were so beautiful as well, but they're gone. At least um, Blackberry Police is not, because I'm still in love with that color very, very much. Anyways, those are the colors that are going. Um, there's a new pink that is a step down from the Fresh Frisia, and I really, really like that one. Um, there is one that's called Pebble Path. Pebble Path, right? If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Um, and oh my God, I also love that one. Very burst and, and moody move I don't know how you pronounce it, but I really like that one as well. Boho Blue, I am telling you guys, I am not a blue, certain blue person, but that Boho Blue has me over the moon. And Misty Moonlight is back, and I have to tell you, yes, that makes me very happy. I was very sad when I had to say bye to that one last year. So anyways, lots of super cool colors coming in and i sure hope that you guys enjoy the change um and also the new catalog will be here may 1st and i gotta tell you guys i am super excited at some of the things that are in the in the new catalog the suites are very very beautiful there's of course as always a couple that i just have they have my heart right away as soon as i as soon as i kind of get into it i'm like oh my god this one oh my god that one right um and as a demonstrator i was able to order all the new colors um in some suites so what i did uh is order some like paper um they you know the stamping up tends to sell um like bundles of paper right like 12 by 12 and 8 by um 8 and a half by 11 so i ordered one of each so one of the ink colors and one of the new colors so i have like a variety of them and then as i go i will order more if it's needed i did all the order sorry all the inks um because i figured i will eventually use them so um that's how it goes so wish me luck let's get to business okay so what are we doing today and i'm going to sorry sorry my reach there we are going to be doing a double diamond fold and i say susie i'm so glad you're here because i don't know if it was yudi or susie when i was doing a live a couple of weeks ago and somebody said oh is it a diamond fold and i'm like what is that I've never heard of it. <laughs> of course I have not. So I decided I needed to learn how to do one. Um, and I found this beautiful double diamond fold and I kind of fell in love with it. I think I fell in love with the card itself. <laughs> and, and then I was like, oh, I need to do that. Um, and it, it just ended up turning so beautiful and I loved it. So whomever mentioned it, I'm forever thankful. What are we going to be doing today? It's an Easter card. Hello Easter. You guys know that I do some of my delivery for, for my cards hand delivered and so I don't have to worry a whole lot about um, their size. This one is a little bit on the bigger size um, and I'll show you here. I will tell you guys what I will be using. I'm gonna use a combination of things and I try not to do that, but I get really excited. So there's that. So I will be using, uh, wishing you joy and love this Easter, either that one or celebrate his love. I'm not sure yet, we'll decide. I used already, I used this one um, and I colored it because I don't like coloring uh, on lives. It just takes me a long time. And so unless a card is super simple and the only focus is coloring, I just don't do that. Um, and I'll be using this beautiful Happy Easter because um, that's the only one I have that says Happy Easter. So those two. I will also be using the um, Around the bend dies i don't know if you guys have seen these but i absolutely love this these um set of dies it it has it is sold as a bundle um maria being the person she is just bought the dies and i have kind of regretted it a little bit but nothing i can do now but i love them i really really like them and we're going to use them here you'll see how much 
how useful and how much you can get out of it, especially because it has so many flowers, um, dyes for flowers. And I love when you're able to kind of create little flowers like that. And finally, because three is not enough, I'm going to be using a couple of the flowers from the two-tone flora, uh, which I just got. I really, I, I really wanted to get several things from the, um, from our mini catalog, but I had to make sure that some of these were not retiring and this one is not retiring. So I'm very, very thankful for that because I like two tone um, stamping very much. I'm really bad at it, but I still love it. And um, it has not only these beautiful dyes that with for each of the flowers, but it has this beautiful dye. And I don't know who of you have this, this one. I have not used it yet, but I can't wait to try this dye. Um, super intricate and all. I even just, because of I, I got this die and because I've struggled so much with my other, you know, more complex dies, I finally got the, um, this little addition for the, <laughs> for the take your pick. Um, so I'll tell you guys how it really works. Um, I have not used it yet, but I'm in love with it already. So these are all the things we're going to be using today. I'm sorry about that. Um, but of course, same as always, right? You can make your card your own and make it however it's easier for you and with the stuff you have. I am going to use a piece of white cardstock for demonstrating you the card just because it will be much easier for you guys. Um, although I ended up using a balmy blue cardstock for um, the big card base, um, I just figured we want, it's much easier here so I can, you know, really mark things for you. Um, I will have all measurements linked down below, not link in the description below for you guys and we'll eventually try to create a template for it. I think it's much easier. Um, oh, really? Oh, thank you, Susie. That's so nice. You know, I was going to, I was telling you guys about my envelope and there you go, right? I don't have envelopes to send them. So those of you who are going to receive one, you're Hopefully you'll receive them by Easter. Uh, at least I, I hope that I can send them before Easter. On top of that, I mean, we were, I am not kidding you guys. We were on the 50s and the 60s yesterday and the day before yesterday. And today, and today I don't think we've gone, I mean, I think the high was probably like 24, maybe. It's so funny. <laughs> and we have this like, snowstorm we're getting a lot of snow but it because it was so hot it melted quite a bit um but it's pretty much snowed all day long pretty consistently i do love the snow so that's fine so here it is our now dirty i don't know what i get dirty from um piece of cardstock this one is 12 by seven and a half um, and I just want you guys to know this and is it seven and a half? I may be mistaken. Where is my cheat sheets? Not, I think it's seven and no, it's seven, not seven and a half. I'm sorry. So 12 by seven. And I can write that here, 12 by seven. And the, I was going to try to make a 12 by five and a half. And I think it's pretty easy. Um, but I didn't try it. So my assumption is it will be easy to make because, um, oh, right. I agree with you, Judy, completely. Cards are cards and they will make it when they will make it. I'm pretty sure people will appreciate them when they receive them. I just wish they were, you know, left earlier, but that's what happens. Um, I think that if you make it, and I'll show you why, let me not get, hey, Connie, how are you? I'm just going to, I'm getting a little over ahead of myself. So again, 12 by 7, this is what we're going to work in. Guys, let me know if you, two things. I mentioned in my last live um, on, what was it, Judy, Saturday, that I had to make some room for the new um, inks and whatnot. And so there was movement in my desk and I feel that I am off now all the time. So if I am off for whatever reason, just Chat out. So I realized that I'm off. And the second thing is, if I am too far away, please let me know. So we are going to get our beautiful white cardstock. Let me move this in here. And we are going to make some scoring. So the first score we're going to make is we're going to go ahead and score at the, that's not three, sorry. 
at three. Really, Maria? At three, at four and a half, right? And then we're going to open our arm and we are going to score at seven and a half and then at nine. So seven and a half and then nine. In bottom line, if you don't want to make that calculation, just can turn your card stock around and score again at three and at four and a half, right? This has to be the same measurements. And now we are going to, okay, somehow I lost my train of thought. Okay, here we go. We are going to make some little, can you see well? I think it's still, let me know if I need to get closer. We are going to align still on our 12 inch side at one and a half inch mark. And we are going to mark there. And so let's go ahead and mark on both ends. And we are going to turn around and do the same thing, right? Mark at one and a half. Or you can just keep going and mark at 10, um, at 10 and a half. Okay, so we have, actually this didn't work very well. Let me align here because I didn't think of it. Sometimes you just don't think about certain things, right? So here is our mark. Okay. So one and a half, ten and a half. Now, if you're using a trimmer, the Stamping Up trimmer, let me put it up here. This end is one and a half. So you can actually just align here to the right towards the end, and you'll be marking the one and a half point. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Now we're going to turn our card to the seven inch um, side and we are going to align at three and a half, which is the half of seven. And we are going to do the same thing. We're going to mark on both sides. Okay. That is the beginning of our card. Now, now we are going to do some cuts and then we'll do some extra scoring. The first cuts we're going to do, so we're going to cut from this first point that we marked on the top to this middle point. And that's what I was telling you guys about. You can do this on a five, um, five and a half inch card, uh, just a regular one, and then just make the middle point at two and three fourths three quarters. I didn't do it. So I just don't want to say, oh, it's possible that it doesn't work. Um, but I think that most likely it will work well. Um, you may end up working with um, some seven, some sixteenths though uh, at some point, but again, I didn't do it. So if you try it, let me know. Um, and then let's go ahead and cut. So we're going to cut those two pieces for some reason I'm disorganized here. So we're going to use our wonderful trimmer. You guys know I love my trimmer and we're going to align those two points as best as we can. And cut. Two things that I've discovered making this card, I really, really enjoy just using the base, um, using designer series paper as the base. It makes it so much easier. Um, for this card, I chose not to just because what I had in mind, I didn't have a 12 by 6, well, a 12 by 12 option. And so um, we ended, I ended up not doing it, but you'll see I have three other um, cards to show you guys. And, and it really, really um, pops up with the design of your paper. I really liked it. Okay, so we have our first um, cut, two cuts, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And we cut, and now we cut. Again, aligning those as well as we can. This is one of the reasons that we love this trimmer is just perfect to do those things. Um, super easy. This is what you will end up initially. So our next step is doing some extra scoring. So we are going to, and I'm going to, that's why I wanted to use this. I'm going to mark here, this is our second scoring uh, line 
or scored line. And I am making marks just because it's easier for me to see. And that way I don't put my big head on the camera. But you can also do that with a pen and just erase it later, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to get from this corner and we're going to score all the way to that, that point that we just matched in there. Oops, I'm off camera a little bit. In here, which is again on that second score line. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to align as best as we can. If you, um, if you don't know this, it's always a little bit better to try to score from this end than to try to score from the point here or from the edge in here. You may just smudge that edge and so it's not worth it. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. We do one. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We are going to align that corner to that little point I make, which is that score line. And that's not very well aligned. Let's see. And I'm going to move my little tool up there so I can score from there, not so much my corner. Okay, it seems like I'm having a little thing here. Okay, there we go. So you end up with an X and I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to like, don't mind, might not go in straight. So this is what we're going to create on each side. So here we go. Let's go and do this again on the other side, again, from that corner to the scored line. And Jesus in heaven, Maria, you're having a hard time aligning this. Okay. And move it to the other side, trying to not to smudge the corner. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, it's not that hard to align, girl. Okay. That seems a little bit better. And again, from the top here, just because that. So they are, whoops, sorry, that was loud. So it's, let me see, three, four and a half, then seven and a half and nine. And I can do this real quick. Three, four and a half, seven and a half, sorry, and nine. Where are you? And nine, right there. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going to look like. And this is how my cheat sheet looks all the time, by the way. So now we're going to fold. And I'm going to start folding the, um, how would you call it? Like the straight sides, the vertical sides, the vertical fold lines. Well, these fold lines along, the, <laughs> along our 12-inch side. So we're going to fold them belly, right? So belly, belly, and belly, belly. Okay, and of course, bring your bone folder for this. It just makes it so much easier. Very simple. Okay, and now we're going to fold those diagonal lines mountain. So again, it's really simple if you think about it. You grab them and fold them. You got one, and then you get the other one. It really works well. Like I hadn't, I didn't have any complication with this, to be fully honest. Um, okay, there goes one more, and the last fold. By the way, I realized that that's probably why it never works so much with triangles. Working with triangles is a little bit more complicated. Just putting it out there. Okay, so this is our fold and now we just have kind of to help the card figure out what they, they need to do. So here's one dummy and we just push this back, right? See, we push these two sides back and the diamond on front. And this is the basic card. Um, I saw most of the cards like this. Uh, I ended up cutting these, just letting you guys know. And you'll see that when I work on my, because we're going to work on that one together. Um, so this is the basic fold. Okay. Anybody has any questions, please send them there. 
um, on the chat or in a comment if you're watching the replay. It's not too complicated, but I think that my brain sometimes is like, oh, this was easy. And then I kind of understand what I'm doing and I don't explain it as well. So let me know if it was clear, okay? This is the card we're going to be doing and I just think it's adorable. It is a little bit hard because it won't close on its own. Um, and I don't think a belly band will work to close it. I'll show you what I did with some ribbon. Um, but I don't think a belly band will work well with this. If you've tried and it worked, let me know too. Okay, so this is our first step. Now, I'm going to move that away. I'm going to bring my card, which is in Balmy Blue. Ta -da! There it is. Already ready. And I am going to go ahead and kind of remind these score lines that they need to really settle down. They're not working here. <laughs> Oops. Oh, other thing I want to show you guys, I don't know if you've seen these, but I also saw a lot of people that actually, let me see, decorated this way. Um, very interesting. Uh, much, you know, it looks like a whole lot different, but they decorate it this way. So that's super cool as well. Um, if you want to do it backwards, right? Um, just in case. And then kind of open it up in here. I don't know. But I saw a lot of people that was decorating this and this was the main part of the card. Okay. So what did I do for my decorations? I did create it. Another diamond sides in here. And we'll go through that measurement here in a second. And just the decorations. That's all I did. Let me show you. These are the same, yeah. So my thought, and I want to explain this to you guys because those were all my mistakes. We can decorate this, but the main part, which is the card base and how to make it, is what's really important, right? So when I started making this layer, I figured... From here to here, it was three, right? And so I need a three by seven piece and I'll make it just smaller. So an eighth smaller, because you guys know I love my eighths. So two seven eighths by um, six seven eighths. And then I'll just do the same marks, right? And cut it. So go in here in the middle and the same, same thing, pretty much. Well, that didn't work. So don't try it. And that didn't work because I think the angle gets me a little messed up um, because it's smaller. And so it just didn't work. So you can tell. And I wanted to show you specifically, so I saved this. Uh, it just doesn't work well. It, it does not fit here. It does not fit here. Like, you have to really play with it, and that doesn't work. So what did I do? Because you know, guys, I'm a little bit OCD. I got a piece of... Three by seven, so the same measurement, this exact measurement. Three by seven, and don't forget those measurements will be down below. And score at the same, and mark at the same piece as not scored. So mark at the one and a half on top, one and a half on the bottom, and then three on both of these sides. And we can do that, guys, if you want, real quick. It's not complicated. Let's do it. It's much easier. Okay. So let's go ahead and get three. We'll do at least one side. And here I have some pale papaya since it's retiring. It's my new, let's use kind of cardstock because it's light and works really well. Okay, so we got those two pieces. So three by seven, just like we had before. Go ahead and align at, let's move that print out of there. One and a half, one and a half. And I'm going to turn this in here. And go ahead and align at three and a half. Is, is, is it all clear? Guys, let me know. And now we're going to close. We're going to cut this. Just like we did before. Align and cut between those two points that we just signed. We just um, marked. And same here. And I'm going to do these two sides real quick. Just to show you. Oops, I don't think. There we go. Okay, and I did the same for the other side. So these would obviously leave us with a piece of paper that's exactly the same size as that diamond on the front, and we need a layer. So here's where I'm going to bring my 
trim it a little bit up higher. So if I cut a fourth, oh really? Cool. Okay. Well, that's the one I've seen. <laughs> so I guess I have to look further and do more research. So if I cut an eighth, which again is what I like, and let me move this a little closer, I will have to calculate this, right? So I cut at fourth. Why did I cut a fourth? Let me go back in here because I have this whole line marking the fourth. And I hope that makes sense. And so I just align there, holding there, and cut. And I did that for all four sizes, by the way. And it lead me to this, which means that it's a little bit smaller than the regular. So let me bring it here. You see, it's it's quite a bit smaller. I tried the eighth. Um, it's not too complicated, but it does mean that you have to pay a lot of attention and do a lot of kind of eyeballing that it's really that eighth and that's really straight. Um, so I prefer the fourth. I figured that it will be fine. So let me move this out of the way and bring the stuff, the beauties we got to play with. And we are just kind of decorate. Oh, there's one last piece. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. I like to play with your feelings. <laughs> okay, so decorating this piece. This is why I think using the um, designer series paper is so useful because then all is decorated and you just create based on that, right, kind of setting. But since I decided to use the cardstock, this, what I did for these is, and you will find it very funny, um, the same thing same measurements so it has the same angle and that is what's going to help us here i got a three by five uh, by three and a half and again those measurements will be below and you will cut the same exact angle it's super funny and we're going to do that together because i feel that it's worth it so this is not going to be three too many pieces Let's see, this will do. Okay, so we have three. And we have, we said by three and a half, right? Here it is, which would be the seven of, the half of that seven. And we're gonna make the exact same thing, guys. You Not a whole lot of change on that end. Just making a little mark on that one and a half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to align this little mark to that corner and we're going to cut. And guys, you're going to laugh with me. I was so mind blown by how your geometry works. Yeah, mind blown. And then so we have one piece and then we're going to do the exact same thing, right? And we are going to cut this one. Same thing. These are both corners or edges at this point in time. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then I got this piece aligned here. We know it's right three. There's our three, right? So we know we have to align at one and a half. That will be more or less our, our center. But of course, that little corner will help us to align in center. And we'll cut there. And now we have the four pieces. Isn't that amazing? Hello, math. <laughs> I, was, I was having so much fun. It's so funny. So we have four different pieces that we will use for these corners. These are, of course, we'll have to make them smaller. Oops, this one is off. But see, we can align this in here. So we'll need that straight side. We'll go in the middle following that straight score line and so forth. So with one piece of three by three and a half, you're able to get the three little corners for these areas, right? And so what I did to make this kind of work well, I did the exact same thing. And because it was designer series paper, it was a little bit easier than cutting cardstock, but I just got two together and cut an eighth on each side, right? So I cut an eighth on here. Okay, Maria. Let's cut it right there. 
I cut one and then I align this one backwards like that and cut another eighth from there. Okay? And it's harder to hold it, but you can do it. And now it is small enough for this. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So you'll see what I did with the others. Again, with the other cards, much easier if you just use this on your paper. And that is my geometric um, lesson for the day, guys. Never figured that. I was like so mind blown. I am not kidding you guys. It's so funny. Okay, here are our pieces. Um, I did white and I um, used the pretty flowers, I think is what it's called. I think, yeah, the pretty flowers embossing um, folder. I think this is still available. Uh, and which leads me to, hey, the 60, up to 60% off um, sale is on. Guys, don't miss it. I am like mind blown by that. I love sales. I got a few of my goodies and I'm really excited. So I did this in white and I did obviously choose the both sides. And here we go. And here are the pieces for the sides that I was mentioning. And I just cut little pieces of it and that's where we're at. And we're going to decorate. Now, I used the, the borders in here. So this is from the country love oh my god sweet <laughs> i think is what its name it's in the mini catalog and it's just really you know checkered paper it's not nothing complicated but i just love this black paper not checkered black paper i just love it and then i got i cut another piece that I, we're going to put underneath so this piece is it, it ended up being two by three um, because I wanted to use it like this. So I want to do this with you guys together. So um, we figure out together if it's really going to work as I think it's going to work. Cause you know, you guys know that sometimes it doesn't work like I hope. <laughs> and so let's do it together. So I'm going to use my glue just because we need um, these to go in the different possible areas. We can put um, some glue dots in there. I guess glue dots, but not the actual glue dots. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. And um, and I'm going to try to put a little bit in here, okay? And now we are going to adhere this, kind of following the same curve, right? In here and up higher, because I want all that blue to show, because this is white, right? So I want this to look like this pretty much. Now this piece is the exact same size as this one uh, or the same angle. And so it will be based on the same measurements, cut a piece of three by three and a half and make that um, mark at one and a half and cut, right? It's the exact same measurement. Once you have the triangle, you can just run it through your embossing machine does that make sense again guys let me know if it does not make sense because it kind of makes so much sense in my brain and it may not be making sense for you so these is again the same size it's not layered and we're going to go ahead and put some glue all over i'm going to put the glue all the way here to the top because this all is going to be attached in here. There may be some here that I am not seeing and I'm just calculating eyeballing it. Um, and we are going to align these and I'm going to cut it like this because I think it's going to be much easier if I cut it in then if I glue it all together and that, then cut it. Align this little point in here right or center all together and ta -da! there we go. And now we're going to turn around and just cut those pieces. And I am not a cutter. You guys know it. I So if you're very good at cutting, just go ahead and cut. I, I just figured I needed more guidance. And these, and actually look at that. It's a good idea because it it's here on the top also. And I wouldn't have calculated that. So it just kind of moved a little bit and that is not cool. Nothing we're going to be able to do right now. 
but we're going to decorate it, right? So we'll fix it. We'll be more careful with the other one. Okay, so there we go. You can see it here. We'll figure out how to, how to decorate that. Um, but this is how it's going to look. Let's hope the other one, we have more luck. And we're going to do the exact same process because it's the exact same thing. We're going to put some glue in these, in all the areas we're able to put some extra glue. So there's some bigger spaces. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, okay. I'm glad you guys are liking it. How funny. Like, I wonder, I wonder what you guys are looking at. So I'll keep searching and see which other are out there. <laughs> so we have more to play with. And again, following that curve, we glue it together and we're going to glue this to our bigger panel, right? And I'm sort of glue following that angle. I did realize again, I don't love triangles. They, they, they bring a lot more complications, I feel. Um, maybe I'm just being a little, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, they bring a little bit more complications <laughs> than I expected. Um, but hey, it, it's a, just about having, so I guess they are all, they're a little bit off, both of them. So we'll have to figure out what to decorate them with. Um, So my thought of, as to what that is happening is that this is a little bit smaller, that not well cut. That's what I'm thinking. I didn't cut this too well. And that's why we're having this um, area here that is not covered. But I think that we can go over it and decorate it. Bottom line, probably make this separated instead of what I'm doing right now. and. It will probably work better. So sorry about that, but we learn together. So let me bring my Stamping Seal Plus, which same as always, about to die. Um, and we're gonna glue this. So when you center, because it's an it's a fourth of, if on each corner on each side, just be mindful of that. What I did really was just using the center and center those really well, and it kind of just really fall in place on its own. So um, not a whole lot on that end. And I hate when it happens, when that happens, it's like, I'm too strong. And let's go ahead and just do the same thing. You see, like if you center the middle, it kind of falls into place pretty quickly. And I like that. That's the only easy thing about, about triangles. <laughs> or working with them. So let's bring these pieces. I have one for each corner. I'm going to go ahead and put them real quick or as quick as possible. I'm going to use glue just because it will be much easier. And so what we need is to find the areas it will fit. So the straight line is what's going to help us because this is this straight line here. So I'm going to put one here. And then um, here's another straight line, and I'm going to put this one here. Some of them I may have not cut all the way. Oh, you know, I, I never worry about those things because I know that for sure I can probably decorate something in there. So this one is a little bit bigger. I, I don't know if you guys saw that. So I'm just using my scissors, which is a very daring thing in my world. Um, and then we're going to attach this. Okay, and the same, always use that straight line to organize these or to be able to align it easier. I feel like playing Tetris, right, or a puzzle, like you really need to pay attention to that line to make it fit. So here is another one. This one is, yes, I cut a tiny bit. And let me bring this one here. Let's see if this one is, it's going to fit. Seems like it's all going to fit well. Sometimes this glue thing gets all crazy in there. Okay, 
let me bring my my special friend and tool there's no tool like a big pin <laughs> a big long thin pin because this is very very thin and it's super cute um to help me out here and same using that straight edge we align and it all fits and i really think it looks super cute and and i don't know if i've i've, I've told you guys this i have a hard time sometimes with um certain blues and bobby blue is one of them i don't know what this is getting dry for it's getting a little upsetting but um bobby blue is one of them like i really like it but i whenever i'm trying to use it it just does not i don't know it's like not dark enough i don't know what the deal is so um i hope you guys le have less l less stress about using certain things than i do and we are going to get this one here I think is that when I put it too close here, it doesn't work. So let's see. Will this work? Yep, straight line, aligned to our core line, and there we go. And we have one, two more, two more, guys. It's not that bad. Now, as you can imagine, if you have um, designer series paper, you don't have to do this step. Um, so that is very important and you'll see that I didn't do it in any of the other cards. I just use designer series paper and I was a little bit afraid because the designer series paper is in the end, um, less sturdy, right? And so I was a little bit scared about that, but I think they will work well. Okay. So this is our card. Let's go ahead and decorate or work on the metal for a minute. And I'm going to bring our, where did I put it? Rejoicing Him little card. And we are going to use little stamp set. And we're going to use Wishing You Love and Peace this Easter. And I am just going to go ahead and close this so it's not get, it doesn't get dry. And where is our bigger? Oh, another important thing, guys. I don't know if you know this, but the um, Stamparatus is going away. So if you don't have one, I, I don't know. There's like some legal complications. I don't know which are those. Um, I have no clue, but it's going away. So if you don't have it, it's one of those, those tools that, oh, my God, you need Okay, let me speed up a little bit. So I'm using our mint macaroon, which is retiring, but I really love that. And it really goes well with this designer series paper. You guys know that I always do this just to make sure. And I'm going to center this in here. Okay. It's center-ish, but centered enough. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring our petal pink, which is the other color that is used in here. And I'm going to bring the beautiful it, this set has a beautiful dove and i am kind of in love with it so we are going to use that one and i'm going to put it here in the middle as well and you will be able to see this little dove um with the card you'll see and let's leave it like that okay so those are the two stamps that we're going to do this corner is not well glued so let's go ahead and put some extra glue in here let me turn this off a little bit okay and if you know gluing um anything that's being embossed needs needs a little bit extra love right they do certainly um because it's embossed it's it's feel like it's more difficult for the glue to really adhere to all the paper and so you have to be generous not so generous that it's going to spill over but generous and let me move this out of the way because I can I can hear disaster happening <laughs> so let's go ahead and add these this piece is um, just an eighth smaller and this middle is three by seven just like any of the other measurements we've had 
And so this is two seven eighths by six seven eighths. And don't make a liar of me. No, I did cut it. <laughs> so guys, I did cut it. Good news. Okay. So this is how it's looking so far. I did tell you guys, I don't like these things. So I am going to cut them and I'm going to leave them like this. And I'm going to use my scissors and put a lot of pressure because it's double cardstock, right? So don't be afraid. Plus the designer series paper. But I feel it looks so much better like this. Um, some of the others I saw, I have those edges and I, it just, just it just did not make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't know if that, like I, I didn't like it, that's it. So you guys know I'm not shy. I just decorate it first and cut it. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to decorate and cut. No, I have to cut these. There's some that I just can't cut some ways. A little harder because these are um, too thick. So if you have other scissors, I actually have better scissors there. Like not better, but bigger scissors that I probably could have used those here. But oh well, there we go. Our snips made it. Okay, so I feel that all together it looks so much better without those pieces there. I don't know what you guys think. And then it's kind of perfect on the sides. You see? So, this is it. Ah, oh, guys, I made a mistake. This is so not cool. Okay. I am thankful that I didn't like press these through. God is being good with me today. <laughs> so be mindful that this is the way up and I put it the wrong way. Why not? And here we go. Oh, Maria, Maria. That's so funny, huh? Okay, there we go. So this is how it's going to look. Now I'm going to bring a very traditional tool. I don't know if you guys have something like this. I've had this for like years and years and years. And so we're going to use our little thingy here and we're going to, I'm just going to align it to this edge, to the edge of the white. And I'm seeing as best as I can that it's aligned there. It's not super easy. Let's see if I can see better this way. Yes, I was not using it the right way. Are you seeing? Yes, I'm in the camera and I'm just there. And yes, it has to go hard because again, it's tough. Now this one seems too close to the edge for comfort to me. So I am going to move a little bit further in here to make that hole. And <laughs> I'm glad I make you laugh, Kiwi. That's good. That was a little bit too tough. So I was able to make the sort of a hole here. So let's go ahead and do this slowly and I'm not sure if I'm going to make this one it's just too much cardstock right and again this is happening because of what decorations I'm using um, okay let's bring snips come here I'm gonna make sort of a hole <laughs> Okay, you guys know I really, really am not good with scissors. So I'm doing this the best I can with the ability I have, which is not much. But I'm glad I make you laugh, Kiwi, it's funny. Well, you gotta make fun of yourself, right? Okay, there we go. That's not gonna be visible because we're going to put some ribbon on it. And I don't know if I'm going to put this one or the white and blue, the balmy blue. I guess I really like it. And it's barely noticeable there. Ta-da! So there it goes. So let's play with all the pieces. So here's my little bunny that I have um, colored and stamped and colored beforehand. And we are going to glue our friend. Actually, let me use dimensionals. And... He'll be popping up. And I am going to use a lot of them just because if I feel it's a bigger, bigger, um, you know, 
image. And let me bring some of the small, the mini dimensionals in here. And these are all from my paper pumpkin kits. I just collect dimensionals. I think I'm a dim dimensional addict. That is interesting. Like I, I really just looked for diamond fold, and this popped up pretty quickly. And there were like tons and tons of of options out there. So that I'm quite surprised. And now we're going to play with all the flowers we have here. So I'm going to bring our little bunny in here, and hopefully put it straight that would be nice and now we can play with some of the decorations so all these dies are from the um around the bend oh my god i wish sometimes their names were not so complicated <laughs> like i can't remember them um around the bend i was right around the bend dies and i really like it because you can't just play with colors over and over so i'm going to bring a little pop of red in here and we're going to glue this together um, there's not a whole lot of, no, there's not a whole lot. There's no red actually in the, um, not that. Where's my take your pick? I just lost it and I recovered it and now I can't find, oh, it's here. Um, but I think that the, this, this sweet survey really pops up in here and I really like it. I have to be honest with you guys. Initially I was like, oh no, it's going to be too much, but I, I'm really liking it. So we're going to bring one. And I'm going to put it in here. And you guys remember that I have a, so let me put glue. We're going to use glue. So I'm really surprised because, I, like I said, like I just, of course, looked at it. Um, and it was, um, you know, I just, not Google because it's not Google, but I was just looking at options in Pinterest. And, yeah, it came a lot. And this is the two-tone one, and I use Petal Pink and Calypso Coral. I think it was Calypso Coral, yes. And so again, we're, I'm just making like some flowers in here just for fun. Actually, let me use a blue one. Mm, going back to the Calypso, the Petal Pink one. And I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put this flower in here. And I'm going to, let me see, because I may be off. So moving these a tiny bit so it goes underneath. And I have, it also brings tons of these little leaves. And I'm just going to put one underneath here. And yes, I mean, for these things, use I always use glue because it just helps so much. Oh, Susie, I'm so glad that you are liking it. Um, I think it's, it's just beautiful you'll see how cute oh my god i need to, to hurry up guys i need to stop talking and just focus focus um and i have a few more here a few more leaves and we're going to put it there just super super cute and yes these the same dies bring a couple of bring hearts and i figured that would do like a super cute decoration here and there um, again, for that pop of color, um, I really, really like it. I actually really, really like that um, sweet a lot. So there is our first one. Let me see. I have, did I cut this? So we are going to put this so you guys can have a feeling for how the card is going to end up looking because Maria is behind. So that's what I was not very concerned about this side because we're going to put both these through here and it's not, you're not going to be able to see my smashing. I'm a little bit more concerned about this piece because it's I didn't do it too in. I should have done this a little bit further in. Um, we may have to do some surgery for this one later. And I'm actually thinking, and I don't know. Well, see, it broke. Oh, Maria. It's not like I can put some of those things that you use, those white things, huh? Ah, but I have an idea, and we'll come to it. We can put one of these flowers in here, just as part of the decoration, and that will um, strengthen that, right? See, things have solutions. We can always come up with a solution. So let's go ahead and look for the middle of this little flower, and we're just going to pop it up in here, 
And hey, that's how crafting works. So I'm using just on half of it because that's what's going to be glued. So let's make this here and we're going to let it glue before we add that. Now, so I supposedly was going to, if I were not this, this slate, let's use this real quick. And I had a piece and I don't know where it's at because why would I? <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. It's all good. Um, I'm going to bring just this piece in here and we're going to stamp our Happy Easter there. Let's see. So you guys can see I used it a lot. I've been using it a lot, obviously, getting ready for Easter. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp here. And I'm going to use our, um, I think I'm going to use the neat micro room again. And stamping, making sure it's all working well. And let's go ahead and stamp that. That's straight enough. I'm loving I'm loving that he, lately I've been able to get this stuff straight. <laughs> and we're going to do some like super quick cutting just cuz, right? So, there's one and there's another. And guys, most likely this is not going to be okay because I don't cut anything straight, but I'm not concerned because we have all these little flowers in here that we're going to be able to utilize to um, disguise my lack of straightness. And I want these actually here a little bit off and I don't mind it being, yeah, a little bit here. Um, I don't mind it being off because again, this is going to be hand given to somebody and that, that will not be an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring some glue and I'm not, oh, because it's going to be hanging, I'm not going to use it all over. I'm just going to use it in the middle. And let's go ahead and I'm closing it and putting it straight because I did several mistakes with the others trying to put them straight and they were not straight. So <laughs> it just looked straight, but they were not really straight. And now the rest is decorating, right? And, and then I have some of these. I have one of this one that is so beautiful that I oh that I figure we can put like underneath here. And let's see, we have some more greenery that we can put in between these two. So let's go ahead and do this as quick as I can. I love, love the two-tone flora. Actually, no. Um I really like that stamping like double stamping. I, again, I'm very honest. I have to use my stamparatus for that to go well, but um, I don't know if it's that my eyesight is not working well and I just like really can't get it. I don't know what the dealio is, but it, I just love them. I love that two-tone stamping. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, I feel it's super beautiful. And now that I think about this, I'm going to remove that and I'm going to put a dimensional in here. And we're going to put it in here. So we create some love in there. And I still have some of these other cuts in here, not cuts. <laughs> I say cuts. See what it looks like? I'm just using the other ones. Let me grab another one and use my take your pick. These die cuts, and, and I really, really like, um, you know, we can put one there. So it's just playing with what we have. I'm going to leave it there so we don't, so I can show you the other cards. So let's put this friend in here. And I have a ton more that I can use for decoration, right? So that should be well enough. And I'm not going to make a bow, guys. You don't have to see that disaster happening. Um, if you've been here before, you guys know I'm just not good with bows. So it's it's okay. But bottom line, you make a bow and you'll, okay, fine, I'll make the bow. It just feels, I feel that it needs to be. And again, you can use the other ribbon, the um, Balmy Blue one with white. I really like that one. Okay, Maria. 
So sort of like this is what goes. We'll make this smaller. And I think this, this ribbon is too thick. We may need to use another one. But this is the gist of it. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm far away. There it is. Now let me bring the other and you'll see how much more time you'll save. Of course I made a Christmas one because hello. So here's my Christmas one. Um, I used all the sweet uh, for this one, which was one of my favorite sweets. And I use here a magnet to close this. So I have a magnet in here and a magnet in here. And I will use, I will actually glue this with um, hot glue if I have a moment later on. I didn't use, I use glue dots, but I am thinking it's not going to survive well. But it, it does like hit pretty quickly, right? Super easy, but the opening, it may come off. But see what I was saying, because it's designer series paper, you really do not need to do any of these decorations. So the only calculation is the panels. And that makes it so much easier. I love this one. Um, very, very beautiful. Very fun with the uh, magnet. And then this is another um, Easter one that I made, sort of the same concept using the white ribbon. I think this is the ribbon I'm going to have to put in here because it's just thin and, and much easier to use. And then you have this here and it goes back again. The designer series paper helps a lot and you don't have to worry about those corners. And it's just super, super simple. Um, on that end. So this is the next one. And I made one elegant one. I say elegant, elegant. Um, using, oh my God, I keep forgetting the names, but these designer series paper, you guys know it's one of my favorites. Um, Splendid Day, sweet. And um, it's just a birthday card, but uh, goes again. Look how beautiful it looks because you don't have, in, with the designer series paper on its own. Um, and just attach with this. I did this just, this is a pencil, our, our pencil, watercolor pencils. I have them here, uh, which I really like. And then I used, and I always forget the name of it because I don't use them often. I have to use them more often. Our um, blender pen, and it just works beautifully, right? Uh, and so I love that this is heat embossed um, with a color that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell, but I just be, I just felt it just matched so well, this color. And it's from a Ranger and it's called Liquid Platinum. I don't know if you guys love it, um, have it, but I, I'm embossing, a heat embossing addict. Um, I love it. And so I have tons and tons of colors. So I use that one here because I felt that it will, um, it's just kind of the same. Can you, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you see it? <laughs> um, it just matches so perfectly with it, right? I feel that it looks just perfect. So these are the four cards. And again, these are all attached. I think this needs the white, more flexible ribbon. I think this is too thick. I just wanted the pop of color, but fine, right? We'll use that one. Um, I can probably get that one and color it with our blenders with the petal pink and it'll do have the same pop of color. Do you like this one, the Easter card? I think they are so cute. But see what I'm saying? How much easier it is if you use designer series paper. And most of our designer series paper is 12 by 12, right? Uh, this one was not 12 by 12. And that's kind of what I was telling you guys. I, that's why I ended up creating these. But I would have done it backwards um, and just use this. So all you need is to emboss some white cardstock and decorate. And isn't that super cool? <laughs> Thank you, Kiwi. I'm so glad you can feel it too. You feel me? <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, um, these are the cards. I hope you guys like it. This one ended up really being really cute. This was my first um, try out. As you can tell, I made like a little mistake in here, like a little I don't know how you call it, but like just cutting it. I didn't cut it well, I guess. Um, but you can barely see it. But this was my first one. And then the Christmas one, because I told you guys I need to work on Christmas. And I like the idea of the magnet. Um, if maybe if you have a smaller magnet, these are really big magnets. I get them from Amazon too. Um, and they will be below. But I think the idea of a magnet is really cute. Um, but definitely these will need to be 
I would use hot glue for this because I think that will really, really hold on to it well. Um, but I love that. The only thing about the card is that it does not stay close like this, right? It kind of moves up. Even if you score it, and I've scored and scored, I don't know why it kind of pops up, but that's fine. That's cool too, right? And cute enough, you will be able, okay, let me open this again. It, it stands, right? Mostly. No, it does stand. Let me move this here. See, it stands well enough so they, somebody can have this and just look at it and, uh, you know, so cute. I absolutely love him. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm so sorry it took a little bit longer, but I really, really wanted to explain the process. The decorating of the card makes it all very beautiful, but really you will decorate as you see fit with your whatever. I like the magnet idea very much, Kiwi, too, because it, it avoids some of this, right? Although having the, um, not this ribbon, I, this ribbon is too thick, but having a ribbon really works well. Like, I think it gives it an extra pop. See here, like this one, this one that is so much simpler, it looks good. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. And as you can tell, I'm using the same three <laughs> three stamp sets in this one right um okay guys let me know which one you like i'm glad you like that i like the elegant one I, i'm calling it it's just a birthday card but i really like it i really like this paper very much oh it isn't it so beautiful susie i like it so much too i love it um Thank you. I am so glad you like guys like them. Um, and if you're not here in the live, please let me know in your comments below which one you like better. Let me not give this. I, I really like this pop of red in here. And I will put another heart in here, I think, just to kind of keep up with the heart. And you can use um, some of the pearl, pastel pearls if you want. I um, have them here. I was planning on doing them, but, you know, it's kind of late. So using these ones or using some other of the beautiful... Um, you know, gems we have in Bling Bling. Do try it. I think it's not complicated, but can we, you, you know my email, if you don't know, it's right there. It's maria at mariascraftinghornet.com. And I can guide you through it together. We can go through it. It's not, um, it's not too complicated, I swear. It, it has its measurement thing, but it want, if you use designer's use paper, it's much simpler. Um, so I do recommend that. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much for being here, guys. And hugs to you all for hanging out for me with me with this longer video. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And same as Susie is saying, happy Easter to you all. I hope you enjoy with your family that important date for those of us that are Christian um, and rejoice, right? So blessings to all of you. Um, and we'll talk probably this week later, probably Saturday. Maybe I'll do something Saturday. We'll see. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day and your week and talk to you soon. Bye.